Hello everyone, today we're going over question 9 of paper 1 for the sample assessment material for further pure maths, the IGCSE qualification. Alright, so this is a pretty hefty question at 13 marks. So it's an alpha plus beta question, which would make the main topic of this the quadratic equation, um, which is chapter 2. The roots of a quadratic equation are alpha and beta, where alpha plus beta is minus 7 over 3 and alpha beta is minus 2. Find a quadratic equation with integer coefficients which has roots alpha and beta. Given that alpha is greater than beta, and without solving the equation, show that alpha minus beta is 11 over 3. And without solving the equation is key here. I will show you what you should do at later because there is a way to do it which might not seem like it's solving the equation, but you actually are. It's just a shorthand way. So I want to show you the other way to get this value of alpha minus beta. Then form a quadratic equation with integer coefficients which has roots alpha plus beta over alpha and alpha minus beta over beta. Alrighty, so question A. Here we will recall that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a in the quadratic equation and alpha beta is equal to c over a. Now, if we, since, since we know that minus 7 over 3 must be minus b over a, and minus 2, which is minus 6 over 3, must be equal to c over a, then since we rephrase this as being over 3, because 3 is the mm -hmm. least, common, well, least common multiple for 1, because this is minus 2 over 1, and 3, and now we have the value of a for which the values of b and c are integers. <coughs> Alright, so we can remove the minus signs from minus sign from both sides here, and we get a is 3 and b is 7. Then here a is 3 and c is minus 6, so that means it must be 3x squared, because a is 3, plus 7x, because b is 7, and then minus 6, because c is minus 6. Alright, so given that a is greater than alpha is greater than beta, and without solving the equation, show that alpha minus beta is 11 of 3. Actually, I want to go do, do this another way, because this is for 4 marks, and they might expect you to give them more thorough method of working, just say that the quadratic equation is basically equivalent to x squared plus x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. And then you just substitute in, and then you multiply by the least common multiple of whatever fraction coefficients you have to get an integer. All right, so now we move on to b, and if you choose to figure out this value with root b squared minus 4ac over a, because that is equal to alpha minus beta, that is wrong. That's not accepted as without solving the equation, because this is just a shorthand form of finding the higher solution than subtracting the lower solution. So what they expect you to do instead, I've had a peek of the marks being for this, 
but what they expect to do instead is find alpha minus beta squared, which would be equal to alpha squared minus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared. And in order to put this in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta, we can see that this is equal to alpha plus beta squared minus 4 alpha beta, because this is alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared, and minus 4 alpha beta turns the plus 2 alpha beta into a minus 2 alpha beta. So now we substitute our values for um, alpha plus beta into here and alpha beta into here. So alpha plus beta is minus 7 over 3. So minus 7 over 3 squared minus 4 times negative 2. So minus 7 over 3 squared is 49 over 9 minus, and then here it's minus 4 times minus 2, so it's plus 8. And I'm just going to write 8 as 72 over 9 because I've got to add up terms with like denominators. And then this is equal to 121 over 9. Now, since alpha minus beta squared is 121 over 9, alpha minus beta is strictly the positive 11 over 3. And you can explain this from the fact that since alpha is greater than beta, alpha minus beta must be greater than 0, because that's what you get when you subtract beta from both sides of the inequality. Alpha minus beta must be greater than or equal to 0. So alpha minus beta is the positive value of this square root, 11 over 3. Form a quadratic equation with integer coefficients, which is roots alpha plus beta over alpha and alpha minus beta over beta. So let's call our new roots alpha 1 and beta 1. And we know that the final equation we are looking for will be some x squared plus oh, x squared minus alpha 1 plus beta 1 plus alpha 1 beta 1. And so we want to find the value of this and we want to find the value of this. Now, First, let's find the sum of these new roots in terms of the old alpha and beta. So this is equal to alpha plus beta over alpha plus, what is this? Alpha minus beta over beta. So if we multiply both the numerator and denominator of this fraction by beta, you get uh, alpha beta plus beta squared over alpha beta plus, and then you multiply both sides of this fraction by alpha, you get alpha squared minus alpha beta over alpha beta. And then you add these two together the positive alpha beta here and the negative alpha beta here cancel out. You are left with alpha squared plus beta squared over alpha beta. And alpha squared plus beta squared is equivalent to alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta over alpha beta. And since the alpha beta here and the alpha beta here will cancel out, you can finally phrase this as alpha plus beta squared over alpha beta minus 2. Now, you want to take alpha plus beta squared. So we know that alpha plus beta squared is equal to 49 over 9 from our previous calculation. So it's 
49 over 9, and then over alpha beta, and alpha beta is negative 2. And since this is like A over B over C, it is equivalent to A over BC, that form. So it's 49 divided by minus 18, so minus 49 over 18 minus 2, or minus 49 over 18 minus 36 over 18. And ultimately we get to uh, minus 85 over 18. So alpha 1 plus beta 1 is minus 85 over 18. So our final equation will be something like x squared plus, because it's um, um, double negative, minus, alpha, minus the sum of the roots, and the, roots, the sum of the roots is a negative, so it's mi minus a negative, so it's plus 85 over 18. Ox, and then we want to find alpha 1, beta 1 which is equal to alpha plus beta over alpha multiplied by alpha minus beta over beta. Now, what you will find here is that you get alpha plus beta times alpha minus beta over alpha beta. And You might think that you'll need to do some more simplification for this, but this is actually the simplest form there is, because you know all these three values. You know the sum of alpha and beta, you know the difference between alpha and beta, because you worked it out here, it's 11 over 3, and you know the multiplication, the, the, the value of alpha times beta. So, this is equal to our sum alpha plus beta, which is minus 7 over 3, times our alpha minus beta, which is 11 over 3, as we have discovered there, and then over negative 2. So this is equal to minus 77 over 9 over minus 2, and then since this is a negative divided by a negative, it becomes a positive, and it's 77 over 18. And this is also divisible by 18. So we have our final. It's not final because it needs integer coefficients, but we have something that is equivalent to our final equation. Because remember, when they say integer coefficients, you must be vigilant about that, because otherwise it won't be accepted as an answer if you get that part wrong, because it shows you cannot read the question. So you have x squared plus 85 over 18x plus 77 over 18, and then multiply both, or not both, multiply all of the terms by 18 to find 18x squared plus 85x plus 77 is equal to 0. It's equal to 0, yep. Now, it says find a quadratic equation, so it must be equal to something, so make sure that you add in the zero here, unlike me, who forgot about it, because when it's asking for an equation, it wants you to give it in the form something is equal to something. So make sure you do that. Okay, so now we are going to look at the mark scheme and see if we got this correct. To recap, in order to do this, we use the identity that defined any quadratic equation if you know this and this. It's x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots. And then here, we figured out the difference between alpha and beta by taking the square root 
of alpha minus beta. Now, I was not able to work this out on an exam, but the fact that they give you alpha is greater than beta is a hint that it is to do with the squaring because this inequality is equivalent to alpha minus beta is greater than zero. And if they are choosing a positive or a negative something for you, this likely means that they want you to take the square root of something. And it turns out that they did. Alpha minus beta squared. So you evaluate this, you calculate alpha minus beta to be 11 over 3, which is what we did. And then you find the new sum, the sum of the new roots and the sum of, and the product of the new roots by evaluating it in respect to the old roots in the values they give you here. And when you finally make the equation, some coefficients are in fractions, so you multiply it by the LCM of the denominators to get 18x squared plus 85x plus 77 is equal to zero. And remember to add this equal to zero because it is asking for an equation, not an expression. All right, let's check the mark scheme. So, alpha plus beta is negative seven over three, alpha beta is minus two, is minus six over three, so alpha is three, so a, a is three, b is seven, and c is minus six, so, yes, expressing the, the integer value negative 2 as something over 3 helps us to find the appropriate value of a. The quadratic equation 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 is 0, or equivalent with integer coefficients, was the answer. So that is a big tick. And secondly, we find the difference between the roots by first finding the square of the difference between the two roots because it would otherwise count as solving the equation. Now, this is equal to the square of the sum of the roots minus four times the product of the roots, so alpha plus beta squared minus four alpha beta. And then you just evaluate this, you get 121 over nine alpha plus beta, so alpha minus beta is 11 over three. Now, the sum, you work it out like this, you just evaluate it, and you get minus 85 over 18. And then the product, again, you just evaluate this, but you don't really need to evaluate it beyond this point because you know that value, you know this value, and you know this value. You can just plug in everything you know before to get this value, the C. So using the same method as before, 77 over 18 is C over A, and then minus 85 over 18 is minus B over A, and you determine that A must be 18, B must be 85, and C must be 77. You get the equation that 18Y squared plus 85Y plus 77 is equal to zero. Now, they're answering with Y, but you can answer with any letter you please because they did not specify in the question that it would be y and it is telling us here that we can give something or equivalent so any equivalent answer all right full marks thank you for watching